guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine when I go to work, which I am a nurse, obviously. And that's going to be my makeup routine. It's nothing too crazy, all drugstore. I personally don't buy anything other than drugstore because cheap. <laughs> But I love everything that I use. I feel like drugstore has really stepped it up the past couple of years. So everything that I use is drugstore. I absolutely love everything. So yeah, if you guys want to see my everyday makeup routine, make sure you stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you like this video. But yeah, let's get started. Okay guys, so I have actually already moisturized and I always put sunscreen on every single day. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. If I'm staying home, if I'm not putting makeup on, if I'm putting makeup on, I am a sunscreen, I was going to say a whore, but that's probably not <laughs> I love sunscreen. As you can see, my face is pretty, pretty pale. Um, there's several reasons for that. It's because I use a lot of acne products. As you can see on my face, I have a lot of scars. Um, I got off birth control about four months ago, and when I did, I started breaking out horribly and uncontrollably. Um, if you look back at my later videos, you can actually see a lot of my acne. Um, but yeah, so I use a lot of acne products. When you use acne products, you are very likely to scar. So I put sunscreen on every single day, and obviously it makes me pale, but I really don't care. I don't mind it. It protects my skin. and. We're preventing wrinkles, okay? And with sunscreen, if you guys are interested, this is the sunscreen that I use right there. It's the Elta MD Skincare, and it's the UV Sport Broad Spectrum 50. I love this brand. It smells really good. I feel like all other sunscreens kind of have that nasty sunscreen -y smell, and I love the smell of this one. So I put that on every single day, and then whenever I go to work, I always use, whenever I go to work, I always use a hydrating primer. Also several reasons I have very dry skin because of the acne that I use. Not only that, hospitals are very, very dry. So at the end of the day, I'm like <coughs> dry. My skin's dry, my lips dry, everything's dry. So I always hydrate and I always use this Makeup Revolution Hydration Primer, which that is kind of what it looks like. And I really like this because as you can hear, it's super watery. Sometimes I'll apply this with my fingers. Sometimes I'll apply it with my sponge, but today I'm just gonna apply it with my fingers. And I just rub this all over because, like I said, hospital is very dry and my face is very dry. So I need as much as much moisture as possible. So I alternate between my It Cosmetics CC Cream, which this is what it looks like. It's a 50 um, SPF. And I also alternate between my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh. Lately, I've been liking more how this looks on me. My skin's just been absolutely crazy and I just love the fresh look that this gives. The CC cream is really, really um, full coverage and I personally don't like to use full coverage foundations in the hospital just because I'm there for so long and I feel like my skin at the end of the day is dying and it, my skin just absorbs everything that's on it. So since it's so full coverage, I personally don't like to use this at the hospital because I don't want to have a full coverage foundation on the entire day so i've been using this and i really really like it and i'm actually going to show you guys a trick on how you can make this a little bit more full coverage i always apply my makeup with a beauty sponge this isn't anything specific i don't even know the brand of this one i just got it at tj maxx i'm going to just apply my foundation i kind of just put dots all over my face Yeah, I don't even think that I use an entire pump whenever I put this foundation on, but I'm going to show you guys how I do make it a little more full coverage. Okay, so now that that's all blended out, like I told you guys, I don't put a lot of foundation on. Like, I know it looks like a lot, but it really isn't even a full pump. Um, I like to have very lightweight makeup on. I don't like to feel the makeup on my face. so. I just went through and really lightly put some foundation and obviously you can see a lot of my scars peeking through. So what I like to do is go through and get a tiny bit and I'm just going to layer it right on top of all those spots that I have. Okay, So I just layered a little bit on every single spot that I have. As you can see, it's just sitting on my skin right now. 
and I'm actually just gonna let that sit for probably five minutes and I'm gonna go on to my concealer. So for concealer, I like to use the Milani Conceal and Perfect. It's a longer concealer. I like it because it's not extremely full coverage and it is really lightweight, so this is what I use. And another trick that I use for my concealer is once I apply it, I let it get a little bit tacky just so it can't be a little bit more full coverage because I find that at the end of the day, no matter what I do, my concealer is always I feel like it kind of comes off, so I like to let it sit just so that it can get a little bit thicker and tackier. So I just apply it just like that. I always go underneath my nose because I always have redness underneath my nose. So I apply it underneath my eye, underneath my nose, and around my lips. And then I also go down the bridge of my nose just like that. I feel like you guys can't really see. There we go, I feel like you guys can see a little bit better now. But yeah, so I just applied that there and I also don't use a lot of concealer. Um, it looks like I applied a lot, but it really, really isn't that much. Um, I don't saturate my face with concealer, but I also like to let that sit just for a minute or two. So I work on my eyebrows while my concealer is sitting. So, okay, so I use the NYX crayon micro brow pencil for my eyebrows in the color espresso it just looks like this it just looks like a regular brow pencil and then i also use the essence make me brow eyebrow mascara just on top of that so i'm just gonna speed through this part because i feel like everybody does their eyebrows so differently i'm not an eyebrow queen or anything like that so i'm just gonna fast forward through this So now that my eyebrows are done, I'm gonna go ahead and blend my concealer first. Of course, I still have those little spots on my um, dark spots on my face, but we are gonna go over it right after I finish my concealer, so. Okay, so I blended out my concealer, and now I'm finally gonna go over those little spots that I use to conceal just my darker areas on my face, and at this point, it is completely going away. They are basically, since I let the product sit, it basically gets really tacky and kind of dries out a little bit. So it looks really, really full coverage. So I, that's my little trick on how I make my face look a little bit more flawless without packing a bunch of makeup on my face and foundation and full coverage foundation all over my face. Because like I told you guys, I don't like to feel my makeup on my face. I kind of just like to feel fresh and like I'm not wearing makeup basically. Foundation and concealer is done. And I personally don't use powder. I know some of you guys are gonna freak out when I say that, but like I said, my skin is very dry even just with this foundation sitting on. My face already looks a little bit dry. It's not splitting up or anything, but if I put powder on, it just, oof, it separates so bad no matter what I do, no matter what concealer I use. Since I have really, really dry skin, I avoid the powder. Next up, I'm gonna bronze, and to bronze, I just use my butter bronzer from, where's this from again? Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, so that's what it looks like right there. And I just use the Sunkissed Bronzer color, so. To apply my bronzer, I use two different brushes, it just depends on how I'm feeling. This is the It Cosmetics Bronzer, the It Cosmetics Brush from Ulta and it's just the airbrush powder. So I'll either use this one or I'll use my Morphe M523. Right now, I think I'm gonna use my Morphe for a more chiseled look. But I also go by doing the threes on your face. So I like to start at my forehead and then go down and then I'm gonna start going into my cheeks just like that. And then I finish off my three. So I go, whoo just like that to make it look more natural and just to follow the natural shape of your face. And then once I finish putting the bronzer on, I basically go back with my sponge and I kind of blend it out. Um, I feel like on the camera, my forehead kind of looks like a forehead bronzer, so I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit more. You know, we're still going for the more natural look. You know what I'm saying? But I personally also like to bronze my nose. I like to shape my nose with my bronzer. So I just use a really, really small brush. 
This is a Luxie two through one small tapering blending brush. I don't know what any of that means. I don't really care. I got it in an empty bag, but, and I just go through it and I basically shadow my nose. So I always go underneath my nose just like that. And then I basically follow my nose up and I blend basically to make my nose look a little bit smaller. I personally feel like I have a thicker nose. So I always blend right up here, two straight lines down and then down here. So that is how I blend my nose. And I kind of go right underneath my eyebrows just to make it look like it's natural. And then I also go right underneath my lips, just like that. And you guys, I know this feels like it's a lot, but really when I do this in the morning, it takes me 10 minutes tops and I can even make it shorter. Um, sometimes I'll skip, you know, being so specific on my nose and I'll literally just grab that other brush. I'll go like this and then I'll literally just go right on top of my nose and three seconds I'm done. And then also since I'm talking, it does seem like it's longer, but and then I always go through and blend with my sponge. Okay, now that bronzer is done, my favorite part is highlighting. I like to use the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder Mega Glow. I don't know if the color is Mega Glow. Mine is kind of destroyed. The top broke, fell off, so I just have it like this. I know it's kind of nasty, I'm sorry, but it's what I have. I don't know what color this is. I wish I could tell you, but it looks like that. Super, super sparkly. I love highlighter personally. I like to be dewy, but. So I apply it to the tip of my nose. Just like that. And then I also go down the bridge of my nose. Basically inside of where I just bronzed, I highlight. I always go on the tip of my eyes, the eye duct. Just a tiny bit under my eyebrows. And then I grab a bigger brush. This is, I don't even know what this is. Honestly, I have no idea. I think this came in an Ipsy bag, but it's just a brush that looks like that. And I use this for highlighting. Swirl it in there and I highlight the top of my cheekbones, just like that. And then on top of my lips. I'm gonna go ahead and put on mascara. My mascara, my die hard mascara that I will use for the rest of my life is my L'Oreal Telescopic. That is what it looks like right there. It's just the L'Oreal Telescopic in carbon black. I've used this probably every ever since I started wearing makeup and I will never ever ever stop using it. I've tried a million different um, mascaras and nothing has worked for me as well as this one has. No drugstore, no high end. So this is my ride or die mascara. Okay, so my mascara is on. Obviously, I don't know if you can tell, but I have a little bit of mascara on my eyelids. I just let my mascara dry and I let the mascara on my eyelids dry and then I go through with a Q-tip and whoosh, take it off without messing up my mascara. So I'm just gonna leave that there for now. The next step is, usually when I go to work, I'll always wear Vaseline. Like right now, I have Vaseline on my lips, whether you can tell or not. It's my favorite thing to wear. And then my chapstick, I always take chapstick with me to work. This is just the Peppermint Dr. Broner's Lip Balm. I always, always have it with me at work. But whenever I go in, first time going in, I will put on my ColourPop Lippy Stick and the, in the color Parker. So this is what it looks like. You can't really see it too well since it's so white and bright. But I basically just like to put this on my lips. Okay, and then another trick that I do, I don't know if anybody else does this, but as my mascara is drying, um, when I feel like it's kind of almost dried, I like to push up my eyelashes. I have also done this for absolutely ever. And I don't do it when it's wet. I do it when it's like a little bit more tacky, like in the middle, right before it dries. And it just kind of lifts up your lashes. 
as you can see I know I still have mascara because they're not dry yet but just kind of lifts up your lashes and I also don't put mascara underneath on my lower lashes because at the end of the day I find that with the sweat the blood the tears of being a nurse I have mascara all over my eyes so I just do my top lashes and that's it and that works for me but let me let this dry so I can clean up the mess Okay guys, so this is my everyday makeup routine. Like I said, I put on this lippy stick when I go into work and I just put lip balm on the rest of the day. I don't care to reapply or anything like that, but I just like putting it on to go into work personally. But at the end of the day, it's off. I really don't care. I mean, we're there to work, but I like this makeup because it's very fresh. It's very clean. You look put together, but it doesn't look like you know, you're super, super glammed up. You just look like you prepared yourself in the morning. You know, I've talked about this before. I like to look very presentable at my job. It's just personally my opinion. This is my everyday nurse makeup routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.